guys, this is Rocky Swag and I'm coming to you with my review of Tokyo Ghoul episode 12, Ghoul. This fucking episode. They redeemed themselves for the shit they did last week, cutting out so much freaking stuff it wasn't even funny. But this episode, they finally, they went back and explained so much that they did not explain in the last episode with the Kaniki torture scenes and oh, this episode was so fucking awesome i was not ready ah oh my gosh i'm such a fan girl but i was fan girl in the hell out of this episode especially the part at the end when they were fighting and they played the opening like they played the whole thing that was so fucking awesome but anyways anyways this episode so for those of you who don't read the manga you probably didn't really understand what was going on with the whole kaniki like counting and yamori just torturing him and then they showed a random centipede and all that good stuff well they finally explained what happened so even though this was the last episode of the season there will be a new season starting up again in january from what i've been told i don't know how completely true that is but from what i've been told there will be a new season of tokyo ghoul starting in january so yeah we only got to wait a couple more months and then the new season will start so this episode so of course we see Kaneke being tortured by Yamori. Yamori is known as Jason of the 13th Ward, which he has every right to be known that way because he is a fucking creep. And he literally, like, tortured Kaneke until he would be unrecognizable if it wasn't for the fact that he was a ghoul and he can regenerate himself. But Yamori would inject Kaneke with an injection that would pretty much stop his RC count or well, lower his RC count so that way he wouldn't be able to regenerate for a while so this gives Yamori the opportunity to literally to just like play with him cut him up cut off his limbs anything cut off his fingers toes and Kaneki would not be able to regenerate until the injection wore off and he did this countless and countless and countless times over and 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 over again until Kaneki would any normal person would have lost their mind but the one thing that was keeping Kaneki sane and which is what he realized because he at first he didn't understand why Yumori would make him count backwards um from a thousand well seven minus a thousand so every count would be minus seven Kaneki didn't understand this but he finally understood after Yumori literally disembodied him several times that it was to keep him as sane as long as possible so Yamori is just a fucking creep the fact that well I mean Yamori he wasn't even like that before what happened to him happened so I can understand and then I can't understand I can understand why he is that way but I don't understand why he would do it to anybody else because he understands what it feels like but this is why he was making Kaneke count backwards from a thousand minus seven so Kaneke started of course losing his mind like any normal person would he started losing his mind and he would go into the recesses of his mind and talk to Rize so Rize is still pretty much inside of him he was talking to her and she was asking him questions and like asking him about his childhood and about his mom and about all this kind of stuff and we find out in this episode about like what happened to his mom his mom overworked herself and he we find out that he really just wanted her to choose him over her sister because he she chose her sister over being with him and this overworked her and then she died when Kaneke was very young and he already didn't have his father because his father passed away before he could even remember so Kaneke in a way he resented his mother for that but he still loved his mother very dearly so Rize pretty much pushed him to the point of consuming her like he literally ate her and instead of joining her, he wants, he said he wanted to surpass her. So he is now going to surpass Rize and things just got so fucking dope. Oh my God, that fight was so fucking awesome. Yumori, he was feeling overwhelmed. You can tell because he was just fighting carelessly and Kaneke was just jumping all around him and shit. And 
of course, I skipped the part. They put, Yamari put the centipede into Kanika's ear. Because in the last episode, they didn't even say what Yamari did with the centipede. Nobody even knew what it was there for if you didn't read the manga. So they finally explained that, that um, Yamari put the centipede in Kanika's ear. But even though in the, in the, in the manga, he doesn't, like, the centipede doesn't come out until way later. He took it out in this episode. It's okay, though. I, I mean, it's fine. But... At the end, Kaneke went in on Yomori. Like, that fight was so fucking dope. And I literally fangirled when they, like, showed. <laughs> when they started playing the song. Because I love the, I loved the intro for this anime. It's fucking awesome. Oh my goodness. But, <sighs> Kaneke and Yomori's fight was so awesome. I've been waiting to see that part animated for forever. And I'm happy that they actually did do it on the last episode, even though they left out like several other fights that I wanted to see. But since it's coming back in January, I guess I'll let them slide. But that's neither here nor there. So yeah, this that fight, that fight was so fucking awesome. I was not ready. I was not ready. But anyways, they show the fight and then Kaneke pretty much gets Yumori down and starts making him count backwards from a thousand minus seven and Yumori at first he wouldn't do it and then Kaneke just kept stabbing him until he did it and then Kaneke took the centipede out his ear and yeah it, that men started eating Yumori which I thought was so fucking awesome Kaneke is so freaking awesome oh my goodness Kaneke is a badass and I thought I would never say that when I first encountered this anime but Kaneke is a badass so yes I was not ready let me stop fangirl. So yeah, for those of you who don't read the manga, I would love to hear how y'all felt about this episode. Do you have a better understanding of what happened now? But as always, please remember to comment, thumbs up, and subscribe. It helps me out a whole lot. And this is Silver Key Swag saying adios.